Hello. Today I'll be talking about breaking the walls of old school non-digital trade diplomacy. Commercial diplomacy is pursued with the goal of gaining economic stability, welfare, and competitive advantage. Traditional trade diplomacy activities include negotiating and promoting international trade investments and intellectual property, together with networking, mostly through face-to-face -face interactions. As you all know, too, humanity is going through interesting times. COVID-19 pandemic will long be remembered with its human cost disruption to the global economies and various trade restrictions like border closures, no trade fairs, no seller buyer meetings, and problems related to vaccine distributions. Old school trade diplomacy tried to offset shortages during COVID-19 times, but it was barely successful in removing disruptions in global supply and value chains. So old fashioned trade diplomacy is kind of stopped functioning, which proved that it should be restructured against major shocks. It is obvious that there is a need of a new approach. In my opinion, there are different ways to achieve this. For instance, new trade diplomacy should be based more on digital practices like remote trade fairs and missions, which will reduce time and money spent for the international travels and events. Remember old times, consider that like 100 traders from Europe fly to New Zealand in order to attend four or five days event uh, or trade fairs to meet, pay, to meet peers which can be easily arranged through digital platforms and save tens of thousands of euros. Besides, e-commerce activities and online trading should be encouraged more, maybe through financial incentives by the governments. Moreover, trade agreements can now involve more digital as as aspects to illustrate that countries can use digital technologies like blockchain and AI for easing customs operations and trade operations. Besides an umbrella agreement, Regulating digital trade activities can, can be prepared by the WTO. Existing agreements like TRIPS, which regulate, regulate intellectual property issues, uh, can be redesigned in a way that the world will not experience uh, major IP problems on vaccine distributions anymore. Various improvements could be achieved with this new approach by breaking the walls of old school non-digital trade diplomacy. First, time and money spent can be re reduced e-commerce replacing old trade methods may achieve savings. Digital platforms might foster and accelerate customs practices and problems related to IPR applications can be solved. Thank you very much for your, for your attention.